Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Persnickety and welcome to my walkthrough for the new game, Rhyme. I'm going to be playing on PS4, however, it's also available on the Xbox and the Switch. Uh, so, so far, this is a great little game. Now, if you're new to my channel, usually I make walkthroughs for games on the hardest difficulty setting. However, this game only has one setting, so I'm just going to be playing on the default. Um, I'm also not going to be getting the collectibles. I just, I'm personally really bad at finding collectibles, so it's not going to be a 100% completion playthrough or anything like that. I'm just going to be playing the game from start to finish and uh, commentating throughout. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy. There's going to be one short little cutscene intro to the game, and I'll see you after that. Alright, so after that brief little introduction, we will finally uh, be given control of the character. Now, as far as I know, uh, this is our nameless hero. We just play as this young boy who washed ashore somewhat mysteriously. And we are on this, you know, beautiful looking island. And we're just going to run through it. We're just going to walk around and figure out what we need to figure out. So. First things first, I'll just show you briefly the controls. Everything is very simple. Um, press X to jump, press circle to roll, and then press triangle to sing, which you will see right here. And that's a useful mechanic for the future puzzles in the game. Now, of course, those controls will be slightly altered for Xbox and Switch, just as long as you got the right corresponding buttons down, should be fine. Um, but I'll be honest, I have not done a lot of research into this game, so typically what I do, at the beginning of every month, I will look online for a list of games that are coming out, you know, in the following month. And then I'll, I'll, I'll look at each one, and I'll kind of note down which ones appear interesting to me. And this game looked fun, but I actually decided not to do it for YouTube. Um, but then at the last second... The thing was that there was supposed to be another game coming out on the same day as this game, and that was going to be called Get Even. However, Get Even got uh, delayed for a month, and so I decided to go with Rhyme to kind of fill the void. And so far, I have to say, I'm actually really glad I made that decision. Now, you're going to come down here, and you're going to see these four little fox statues, which will also be the title of this video and what we're gonna do is we have to unlock each statue and I'm just gonna go from right to left so pretty simple you can just follow along with what I'm doing here they're all pretty easy to find and you'll notice that each one is emitting this uh, very bright beam of blue light straight up into the sky so if you ever get lost and can't find it then just look up to the sky for one of those blue beams but you'll see you go up to it you sing uh, or yell at it, and then that will unlock whatever it is, the essence, the light essence will leave it and go where it needs to go. Uh, and from there, you're going to go through this little hallway in the mountains here. And, and like I said, you know, I, I'm not going to necessarily hold your hand throughout this. You just got, you, you, if you're going to follow where I'm going, and I'll lead you directly to where you need to go. Now, there are a lot of collectibles in this game. There are toys, there are these little stone pieces, there's keyholes, there, there's quite a few different things and given my personality as a gamer I am not very good at finding collectibles. I always use walkthroughs when I need to get 100% so this isn't going to be a 100% playthrough. I'm not going to show you where the collectibles are um, so apologies for that but I would recommend you visit 
you know another youtuber who specializes in that type of video mainly I'm just gonna be playing the game and I invite you to join along with me and if you're new to my my channel something I like to do so you'll see this this mysterious red cloaked figure watching me from afar um, something I like to do in my videos is I usually like to commentate throughout and some people don't like that some people do like that so if you don't like that uh, I completely respect that opinion I know that for myself when I watch gameplay I also prefer no commentary most of the time uh, so so I will just let you know right off the bat in this first video I, I do do commentary like that uh, if that's something that you don't enjoy I would say you know just maybe try it out for a video or two and if it, you know if my commentary just isn't doing it for you hey no no worries feel free to check out you know a different youtuber who perhaps is doing no commentary my feelings won't get hurt I understand that everyone has their preferences but that's just how I like to produce my videos and typically my commentary will cover one of two subjects if there's a particularly challenging section my commentary will focus primarily on the gameplay I will walk you through step by step what you need to do to defeat the boss or to solve the puzzle or something like that but for the rest of the game you know moments like this where I'm just kinda going from one location to the other and there's not a lot a whole lot going on I like to talk about the game in general my opinion my review uh, the mechanics or maybe I'll just you know branch off onto a different subject um, and so in particular with this game like I said earlier in the video I originally wasn't going to play it However, so far, I'm very glad I did. Um, so the way that I'm making this walkthrough is I have two profiles on my PlayStation. On my first profile, I'm playing the game for fun. I'm not recording it. I'm just going through and uh, playing for, for my own enjoyment. And I'm kind of noting where all of the key story parts are. And then I'll go to profile two, and that's when I'll record what you're seeing now. And that way... I can show you exactly what you need to be shown. You don't need to watch me run around trying to figure out where to go for 15 minutes. In, in this version of the walkthrough, I just get the game done. I, I do everything that's necessary without any lingering or anything like that. Um, but anyway, so you'll notice that that wild pig or hog was blocking our path. And so what you can do, you see right there, you pick a fruit, you throw it on the ground, and all of the pigs will run to it. Um, and so what you got to do is bring one over to the large pig. Sorry, little guys, this one's not for you. Um, you're going to bring it over to this large guy here. He'll knock it out of your hands, and then you'll be able to go up those stairs to unlock the third fox statue. Um, but yeah, so originally I wasn't going to play this game, but so far uh, I'm, I'm about, I'd say, an hour into the game. Uh, on my on my original playthrough and so what I do is I'll, I'll play through about an hour's worth of gameplay and then I'll jump to profile 2 and film an hour's worth of gameplay that way everything's fresh in my head um, my biggest my biggest um, you're gonna see or real quick uh, you're gonna see a flash right here that's just because I got lost for a second you're gonna go this way to find the fourth fox statue and it's pretty easy to get you're gonna have to do a little swimming but nothing over the top um, but so far, my, my biggest uh, enjoyment with the game comes from the artistic style. I just, I, I really enjoy this type of style. And I don't know the names of, of different styles. I'm, I'm not into that or anything. But I can say that whatever, whatever you would call this style, this kind of almost like realistic cartoon, or no, it's not that. It's, it's, uh,. I, I really don't know what to call it, but this artistic style I really enjoy. Uh, I think the game just looks beautiful. It reminds me a lot of The Witness, which was a game that came out last year, also because you're on kind of this empty island. Um, my other big thing with the game is that it's just, it's kind of relaxing. You know, it, the, the environment is beautiful, the gameplay is relatively simple, the soundtrack is very nice and soothing. It's just a fun game to sit back and play. There's no stress involved. You don't have to worry about finding ammo. You don't have to worry about some tough boss fight. At least not yet anyway. I, I haven't beaten the game, but it's just fun to play. And it's, it's, uh, it reminds me a lot of 
an adventure that I would like to be on. You know, I, I love the Uncharted games. I love Resident Evil. But those adventures are just unrealistic. You know, I, I would not want to be trapped in a village full of parasite infested humans. I would not want to be being shot at by thousands of pirates while going after some supernatural treasure. Th those are things that you want to do in game. You wouldn't want to do those things in real life. But this game is different. This game, I can honestly say I would love to be doing what this kid is doing in real life. Just all of this exploring and adventuring and puzzle solving on some beautiful secluded island. It just sounds like paradise and and I just find that being able to do it, uh, at least virtually, is, is also enjoyable. Um, now what you're seeing me do here, this is not story related, so you do not have to do this. If you've unlocked all four fox statues, you can carry on with the game. But I am just showing you this um, so that you can get an idea for what the collectibles look like. So you'll see one up there. That is one of the toys. Um, now I am not going to go like searching every nook and cranny for the collectibles, but if I know where one is, I will show you how to get it. Um, so that's not going to happen often. But this one here, it's the first, it's one of the first ones in the game, and so I just wanted to show you how you get it and kind of uh, what it means and everything like that. Um, and so you're going to scale these brick walls here, and basically you're just going to climb your way to it, and once you get to it, you're going to press square to pick it up, and you'll see that it's a little pelican doll or action figure. Um, and you can see now all these silhouettes on the bottom of the screen, those are all the different toys you can collect. And so to keep track of this, if you go to the pause menu, which I'm about to do right here, you can go to extras and you can see all the collectibles here. And so uh, specifically here's the toys area, there's emblems to find, uh, there's keyholes, there's all sorts of different things. Um, and keep in mind, I am not going to be finding all of these things during my walkthrough. But if, uh, my, my biggest piece of advice to you is, if you own this game, just take some time to explore. Just have fun with it. That's what I'm doing on my initial playthrough. I'm not doing that in my walkthrough, but on my initial playthrough, I just ran around and, and looked for things, and it, it was a lot of fun. Like I said, the, the island is just gorgeous, and it's fun to run around adventuring like that. Um, if you don't own the game, so far I can say that I would recommend purchasing it. However... I don't know if $30 is a price that most people are willing to pay. I'd say that I, so far my, my uh, mind tells me this is more of a $20 game. Uh, it might be a game that a lot of people decide to purchase later when the price drops. I completely understand that. Um, but anyway, so once you unlock all four fox statues, you're going to run up to them and sing to them. You can either get them all in one blast or just sing one at a time or two at a time. And you will unlock your trusty friend, this little cute fox that uh, is going to be a bigger part in the next video. And with that, that pretty much wraps up the first part. Now this level is all one fluid story, there are no chapters or anything like that, so I'm going to do my best to title each part as best I can so you know what to expect or what the video is going to cover. So this video is called The Fox Statues, and that is because we spent most of the time hunting those fox statues. Now you're going to blow through here, or sing on that, open the door, and that's it. So thanks for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe, and uh, see you in the next part.